who I believe would have transformed our military. The transformation was already evident. And so I have lost a friend. I have lost an ally. Pauline Sana Mama Eileen and your children. In his humility, he made a whole difference. In his humility, he made lessons for all of us. So, yesterday was truly, truly bad. But, because I am also sure, and because I know, General Ogola was a devoted Christian. He believed in God. And that gives us the courage, even in this difficult time, because we are sure that he is somewhere at peace. He believed in God in such an unequivocal way that members of his family are witnesses. The bishops there said, all of us here are not short of memories of what he was as a Christian. And as we celebrate his life and mourn his loss, as a nation, we must remind ourselves that General Logola died on duty, responding to the cries of women, children who suffered at the hands of bandits and cattle rustlers and bad people. And when I discussed this with him, when I came from West Pokot about 10 days ago, the people of West Pokot had asked me, they had five schools that had been closed because of insecurity. And I asked General Logola, what are we going to do? He told me he would reorganize his budget, provide for 30 million shillings, and go himself to supervise the construction of those schools. That is how much General Logola believed in country. And because he passed on on duty, we celebrate his life in a very special way. He was not just the head of our military. He was not just in office. He died on duty active duty. That speaks volumes of what General Logola is. And so we celebrate him in a very special way. He teaches us many lessons on humility, on professionalism, on commitment to country, And I could see yesterday on the faces of his military colleagues 
generals who ordinarily would be hardcore people. You could see broken souls 